Hello, welcome back. Last time, a lot of fours happened. Uh, and I think I'm down to just three puzzles possibly left in the entire game. Uh, but they might find a way to, uh, to be more. That's happened at least once. That's the five. The five is down here. It looks so tiny, though. Oops, I stepped into it. Wrench in the works. Let's do this. This will be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised how few magic orbs have shown up. Were they in just like two puzzles and that was it? There weren't very many of them. Uh, none down here that I've seen. Maybe the last two puzzles have some. Okay, so. Zappy, zappy, zappy. Bring an orange, bring a purple. We got blobs and rollers. Excuse me, what is this? And how do you imagine any of that is going to happen? Okay, so look how tiny this is. There's like nothing here. Uh, here's a way that I imagine something could happen. Yeah, here's a lot of occlusion. Okay, so because of the slime path, I had to walk differently. How safe is this? Lightning is faster than a vine. Makes sense. Probably want to leave that there and do this. Okay, that's one. What exactly is wrong with just doing that again? Ah, the walking path is too long. So I'm going to have to do something a little bit different. Right, because I'm off by one. Uh. Okay. So I can think of a few things to maybe do about that. Let's see here. So, why did this work? Because I was able to be too below where the roller is. I only had to be one below, right? Right, yeah, I could be one below. I couldn't have gone here early when I had beans on me. Yeah, so one below, giving me one turn of horizontal motion. Okay, so... A thought. This seems silly, but I don't know. Maybe it will work. So back to the very beginning. I would like to take with me... Ugh. No, I wouldn't. No, that's no good, is it? Okay, no, I got a different idea. Uh, yeah, that could maybe work. I'm noticing... some terrain here. Space for a vine to grab something. There's no way I'm vining my way back out of here or anything, because there's no means of vine destruction anywhere in this puzzle. Okay, what was my idea? Sorry, I got kind of off track. I I had something I wanted to try. I need a very specific set of beans for this. Do I? I don't know if I do. So the idea was... While here, I'd lay down... Some, like, invalid recipes or something? I mean... I, I, that's... doesn't... that's not an invalid recipe, for one thing. Uh... Well, okay. So... Okay, I think I need to... Blob a roller, for one thing. Sure, that's fine. I'll do it. Ooh, where do I think I'm going to do that? Well, up here. That's fine. Just like this. Oh, that's why that exists. I see. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been thwarted. All right. Um, so we'll have to do that a little differently.
Hmm. Clearly I need to perform more work than just this task on my way down here. I can bring more beans. But what do I want to do with them? So here's one idea. I'll bring two oranges. Leave one here. Oh, that's a bad idea. Now I'm dead. See, I'm not if I do that, but... Uh, well, I guess I can at least test out this other thing I wanted to do. Um, so if I blob a roller there, which I would do how? Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I want to do that I can't. Oh, and now I have another roller there. See, now that's no good. Why did I leave that bean there? So I could survive? Okay, well, let's uh, leave it here then. Or... Okay. Kinda just messing around right now. I have some ideas of what I desire, but they, uh... No, hang on. I still ended up with an extra thingy. Right, you stay there. You go here. Um... No, hold on. Hmm. Yep. Don't want that. But my options to not have that are quite limited. My options for everything are quite limited. Okay, so. Uh, how would blobbing a roller help me? Well, I'm either blobbing a roller or a cloud or a vine, since I do have one extra purple bean. So getting a purple bean here is the hard part. There are no monster-destroying monsters here. That's not true, there's this one, but that kind of doesn't count. Um, ooh. Got a good alternative, though. If I blobbed a vine here and fed it a purple, then that would open for long enough for me to do my thing. Okay. Could I imagine a way of that happening? Not really. Because, like, this whole mechanism puts me way over here while I do it. What if I did it twice? That might work. But how do I do this twice? I have time. This is a pretty long uh, thingy. Is it perhaps so important to get a roller over here that, well, no, you don't have time for that. Hmm. Okay. And since the purple switch is the one that opens this, I don't get this extra vertical space in any way. Okay, next idea. I don't like this. Okay, I gotta leave it purples there. That's fine. I should probably leave an orange, since I only am trying to put one down here. Yeah, so I'm ignoring the orange switch for a moment, just to see if I can do anything with uh, an arrangement like this. See, all that does is just put a roller in a place where it's sure to kill me. Yeah, pretty sure I don't want that. Um, now, what seems like it could be productive... Okay. So yeah, just one thing at a time. Even if it fails me the puzzle, that's fine. Just trying to do single things. I guess I'll leave an orange there. Put one here. This spot is of interest because it allows me to get another roller in that corner. 
But I can't do these things simultaneously. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, different idea. This can be done more simply. Oh, can it? Maybe. Oops, I zapped you twice. Hope you don't mind. Do this roller. Uh, roller. This this vine just eats way too fast. I want a roller here. I think. I think I want a roller there. That on its own. Would make it possible to... Hold on. Um, that on its own would not make it possible to get to this purple switch. I would have to... Because I would step here. You'd roll there. You'd get grabbed. I'd move down here. You'd be here. I'd move down here. You'd be here. I'd move over. I'd be uncovered. And that cloud would... Do a mean thing to me. Okay, additional possibility. Yeah, I see something. This could work. Oh, this was one of those brief little fleeting visions that doesn't really stay with me for very long. Okay, um... Blob? Let's say... <coughs> Yeah, that'll probably do. Uh, that will not do. Okay, blob needs to be... Let's just put it there like that. Let's just put it here like this. Okay. No, I want that. Okay. This might... Do some of the job. It won't be the whole thing. Mm, yeah, this is not... So this does let me put a purple bean on the thing. I guess I'll leave my oranges here. Ouch. Oh, you need something in your hand. Of course you do. Because the, the hand is transparent. Okay, there's more to it than this. No, that turn order doesn't work. If I had a little bit of protection, like... Boy, that's not protection. Oh, nope. Ha. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, uh, I don't have time. Mm, I could have had time, though. Wait, why don't I have time? Because I spawned the blob or something? I'm kind of trying a lot of things. One of these things I'm trying will work. Okay, so this gives me time. What do I think I'm accomplishing here? Oh, you need to be busy while I'm putting that blob in place, because otherwise your tendril leaves too soon. Now, if I could set up an eternal wrestling mat, that would take care of my needs. That might be possible. It doesn't even need to be eternal, it just needs to be long enough. Okay, now... Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is actually very plausible. Maybe with just the appropriate timing on this everything will be taken care of. 
That looks... pretty good. It just needs to last. Ah, you really... <laughs> okay. Silly cloud. It's lasting. Okay, protect bean. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down and wait. Uh, yes, I did have to do that. This is working. I think I actually might have an eternal wrestling match here. It certainly hasn't terminated yet. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Just kind of messed around until something worked. I had a lot of other ideas there. Uh, but that one took hold and made sense. What was I saying about getting everything done? Hooked Peninsula. What are you? For bean and... For recipe. Okay, there's a lot here. Slime in the way. And a curve. And a shutoff. So ideally a roller's going in there. However, I have a little bit of trouble getting a roller to roll from there. No vines exist, so we're not traversing water that way. No icicles exist, so we're not traversing water at all. Except in the form of bucket falling into it. So I can trade a red, yellow, or blue bean. I don't have any reds. I can trade a yellow or blue bean for a blue and a red. And then maybe also do some work with the monster that bean creates. If it were a bomb, that bomb could still explode right there. Okay, um, problem. Oh, well, <laughs> dang it. Okay, so I need uh, something else. Wanding forbidden from areas I can get to. So I guess I'd need to cloud this. So this would appear to be what it would take to get those beans. It puts a cloud right on my path though, and I kind of hate that. Uh, yeah, and I don't really see a solution to that. However, what am I trying to do? Now that I'm up here, I guess all I really need is to get all these beans past you. And yeah, just put bucket, red, uh, ooh, no, not that simple. No, there's more to it than that. That's this. Oh, no, this is enough space. Yeah, buck, uh, so blue, red, spawn bucket, push to the right, move out of the way, let it pick up the red, move down here. Uh, okay, cloud needed to have been there. Got it. Hmm. because I can't wand to extract that roller from the bucket. But yeah, okay, so if the cloud, if there were a cloud here, and I could then accomplish the rest of my stuff, which actually, that might be possible. I can put this here now. I have an extra blue bean. And the reason for that is unclear to me. This could have been blue. And my yellow could have gone... Hmm. So right now, I'm short traversal from here to here, and I'm long one blue bean. So I have a blue bean I don't know what to do with, and a traversal problem that a blue bean can't help me with. Uh, I only need one red to come through there. 
There isn't really a way for a bucket to help with that. Like, yes, I can do this and protect it for a turn, but do that and I get zaps, do that and a roller happens. I could leave an invalid recipe there. Ooh, hold on. Invalid recipes. Eh, not gonna help me. Okay. So I've encountered the main mechanism of the puzzle. And I have this one extra tool to do something... ...about it with. So let's put a blue here and get a different extra tool. What can I do with a bum? Okay, so if I don't do that yet... It has to be a roller, here. No other monster will do. I don't have a vine or a, an Iking or Kuriyama creature, so there's no suspending a roller or bomb in motion to like walk back and forth on this as it gets pulled over there or anything. Given the space that exists here, I really don't think I could... set up a bomb to blow up this cloud, and I don't want to. The cloud needs to exist. I just need to be able to walk through here while the cloud exists. I have this space to clearly do something with. If I put anything there, it blocks my wanding the bomb. Hmm. I mean, okay, let's pretend this is a red bean. So the cloud does two good things for me, and one bad thing. If you were a roller, I would be done now. I get an extra blue bean here after all this stuff, so whatever I'm doing with my extra bucket... It's past the point at which I have the red bean. But that cloud cannot be blocked then, since these are alternately bracketed by wall and water, like both of these rows. Neither a bucket nor a bomb could go back and forth in them and continue doing that. And I don't have anything else solid I can put down. I got the cloud, but it has a specific thing to do. Okay, so it's something very specific I need to do here. So, where do I have wiggle room? The position of this cloud is exact. It must operate in this row, and it must operate in this column, and I only have one, therefore this is where the cloud goes. So, don't think I need to question that. The monster that goes on here could be Bucket or Bomb, and currently it doesn't make a difference, and I think I need to understand why that makes a difference. I could slightly delay the spawning of a bomb by doing this. It is unfathomable to me how that could be productive. Wait, now hold on. I was thinking any bean in this position would stop me from spawning the cloud. That's not true. A bucket there would not. Because zaps go through buckets, but that happens both ways, so the cloud would still be able to zap me, so the, all that would do is just put a bucket there and do nothing. Once this is pressed... So I know this is a column where bomb can go up and down. Okay, well, let's do that just to see if it somehow reveals anything. Yeah. 
I mean, it, it doesn't. It gives me a way to just delay spawning this bucket by like one more turn. <laughs> Delaying spawning this bucket is not something I'm interested in. That's the same number of turns. Never mind. No, actually, if this cloud blew up for a moment, I could respawn it. So maybe setting up a way to detonate that bomb would indeed help me. Well, I know a way I can do that. Yeah, I know a way I can do that. Hold on. Isn't this everything? This is everything. This is everything. Check it. This works perfectly. Cloud happens. You zap that. I take these. I leave them out here. I blow up that bomb by spawning this bucket. Cloud is gone for a moment. I have these. Bucket goes away. Okay, I'm done. Cool. Right? Uh, need to respawn the cloud, yes, right at this moment. But yeah, I'm done. Neat! Okay. Uh, well, this is finished. Let's do the final puzzle. I was joking when I said all three of these would happen. Maybe they still won't. Slime corridor. But look how simple it is. It's just two recipes. How hard can it be? Okay, so we got, uh, this is the last one, right? It appears to be. So something has to sit on that. Okay, so bomb costs those things. How many bombs do I need? Optimally, this could be done with two. One here, and then another here. Uh, do I have the room to theoretically set that up? I think so. There are issues, I think. Are there? Well, okay, there's one there. That's fine, maybe? Not quite. Yeah, a couple of problems here. Okay, so something has to be on there. First of all, what can be on there? It feels like this is asking me to do... Okay, it's asking me to do... Th no, not that. I guess it's asking for this. Okay, now at this point, I can fetch this blob out of my little miniature blob stable. Okay, and I can set things up better for what I want. Am I done? Am I done with the game? Not quite. Uh, oh, hang on, but you can go here. I bomb this. I fetch you. Mmm, how does fetching you help me? By closing that door. No. Oh, I can't fetch you. Okay, so now my issue becomes I can't push this bomb vertically. I was hoping a slime would help me push that bomb, but I well, if it were to do that, like if this worked, let's do it in this way and pretend. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, that's not good enough. Nothing is helped by that. But if I could get to the slime in time, the slime, the, uh, the blob in time, and get it back after it's pushed the bomb. Like if this could be farther south. 
Oh, I can't reposition you on there without another blob. Okay, so once I pull a blob off of here, that blob is just gone. So I do need to two-bomb this. There's no way I'm doing anything else. It shouldn't sure seem like it, at least. Because that's got to be continuously held. There's nothing I can do from all the way up here. Hey, 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 hang on, that's not true. Door holder. Yeah, but... That's kind of in the way. Um, that may be okay. Door holder. Bomb-shaped door holder. Blob comes along. Blob goes ahead, keeps holding the door, and yes, I'm done. What? <laughs> okay, I think I won the game. Okay, just for fun, being mastery. Okay. <laughs> Did I, like, figure something out, like... I don't know, I feel like just the puzzles here in Sanctuary were easier than their rating on average. I also think I got reasonably lucky with just realizing the right thing at the right time for a lot of these. Anyway, so that would seem to be everything, so here's ultimate reward. Hey bunny, let's sail. Oh shoot, I forgot to do something. I was gonna copy my save file before I did the last puzzle just in case there's like an alternate ending for not having all the things done. Uh, too late. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, credit sequence. So maybe we only get the promise of uh, my character meeting the, uh, the researchers, and this is as much as we see of that, maybe. Okay, Pencilor made those three. Did I already see a credit sequence? I might have. Yeah, I remember all these sound credits, but the credit sequence is different. Okay, so this is ending number two. So this was just an incredible puzzle game. Uh, like, one of the most notable things about it, it had, there was literally one single puzzle in the game that gave me a bad time. Every single other one was highly enjoyable. And that one that gave me a bad time probably was just, like, because of my mood at the time, because, eh, mm, no, I have a legitimate complaint about it in that there was an extra bean. There was a red herring, a bean-shaped herring. It was indeed red. That just didn't need to be there. Oh, it's a scene! But every other puzzle, just fantastic time. This is... This is pretty amazing. Alright, new island. I'm not pressing anything. Go this way! Hey! Faces! Those are the people! Alright, I can tell which is which. That's clearly Carl and Charlene on the log. Not anymore. Uh, Alright. Got sandwiches and stuff. There's a friendly roller here with a collar on. They have a pet roller. <laughs> oh, he has tiny little forearms. They're so small. <laughs> Just kind of standing and staring. Alright. 58-52. Right. <laughs> Sub one hour. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, all right, neat. 195. Guess that's the final count. Well, that was lovely. Uh, yeah, that was... I mean, what else is there to say about that? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so as I've been playing this, I've been gathering notes for myself about interesting interactions that would be fun to make puzzles about. I could totally see a future where I build a custom level pack for this game. Like I've, I'm, I'm a little farther than just thinking it might happen. I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, here are some of the things I would have put in it. So that's something I'm kind of expecting to do. This music track changed. Or I've never sat in the intro this long. Because it starts the same as one you hear in the game. Or maybe it changed because I finished. Okay, anyway. Well, that was, uh, that was just a wonderful treat. So happy I played this. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you again for another game sometime.